Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday morning coaching call. Every Tuesday morning, 9 o'clock Pacific, we're here to connect as a community of like-minded, like-valued mortgage professionals, and my goal is always to deliver the industry's absolute best sales meeting. My name is Dave Savage. I'm the CEO of Mortgage Coach. Uh, I, I added a little Twitter link to uh, how to connect with me on Twitter to my profile today, so for all you that come to these calls every week, that is new. Uh, while my Twitter account is not new, I, I am conducting an experiment just to see how many of our members are participating on Twitter. Uh, I started experimenting years ago. Uh, never really connected for me personally, but I have been encouraged by my partner Greg Wexler and a number of other members like Dan Keller that, that I should take it more seriously and get more involved. So I've, I'm putting it out there, and I'm going to do a few things throughout the call. So any of you Mortgage Coach members in Twitter land, uh, a new way to connect and communicate with myself. Uh, again, I also, for this call, just in the spirit of doing an experiment, if you do want to ask a question or make a comment or just do a shout out, uh, use the tag Mortgage Coach and always feel free to connect me. I am, I am learning how this is valuable to you guys and I think given today's topic, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, do you want to do a heads up? that we are starting the promotion of our big online event with Darren Hardy in January. So second week in January, we're going to be doing a kick off the mortgage industry event with my good friend Darren Hardy. And uh, we, this thing's going to absolutely book out. I mean, we're going to have way more than, we're going to have thousands of people sign into this. So I wanted to give everybody who comes to this weekly coaching call a heads up to sign up for that Darren Hardy event uh, before it does book out. Now today, is all about leveraging valuable market insight to help realtors. So as mortgage professionals, again, I'm going to get into it as I bring in our special guest. We, most of you know how important this is. Not everybody is executing at a really high level. So we're going to focus on how to do, do this better. Uh, what, what brought today's special guest into the conversation is um, our graphics design team, Dora, Todd Brilliant, our team put together this infographic a few months ago. We posted it on Facebook. By the way, we had a tremendous amount of comments, value. It's just a great insight. Every home buyer should think about this. And uh, Steve, Steve Harney, who I've known, I mean, Steve, I don't know how many years it's been, but it's been a lot of years since our first conversation, uh, reached out to me after that. And we've, we've rekindled a, a conversation and come up with some ideas to partner. So. Steve, welcome to the call. Thank you so very, very much, David. I appreciate it a lot, and it's an honor to be able to share my message with your, you know, your followers and the people that you're helping with uh, Mortgage Coach and with Edge. So thank you for allowing me to uh, spend some time with your people today. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a mutual honor. I've, I've always admired the leadership and the insight that you provide, and, and I'm grateful that you, you, you just did a simple post. You know, we posted this infographic. And he said, hey, Dave, you mind if I put that on my blog? And I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't mind. That would be great. And we, we got, I think, over 600 Facebook likes. I think it was a new mortgage coach record for one of our contents. So a lot of influence, a lot of value, and I'm grateful, Steve, and I'm looking forward to having a really detailed conversation today. Yeah, did me too. Me too. All right. So, so a couple follow-ups from last week before I bring um, Steve in and we, we really get into this. Uh, I want to want to thank Dan Keller for all the value he brought last week and part of Dan's presentation. I mean, it was just a pure coincidence. He's one of your customers, Steve, and he uses your insight. He was talking about you know how he's using insight in the marketplace. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. And then and then Dan did a great job of how he's using Edge and how he's driving that. So I just wanted to remind everybody, this is insight marketing. What we talked about last week, we didn't package it that way. We didn't talk about it that way, but if you didn't click and listen to some of the, the edge links that Dan Keller's doing, if you didn't hear the call from last week, go back and listen to it. It's important and it's valuable. So one last setup as I bring Steve into the conversation and we talk about insight marketing, you know, I've talked multiple times to you guys about the Challenger sale, and I know dozens of you, possibly hundreds of you, have now bought the book. I don't know how many of you have read it and studied it. I know it's dozens because I've got a lot of emails, I've had a lot of conversations. Todd Duncan actually talked about it from the stage at Sales Mastery and I referred Todd to the book and, and, it, and it, 
it was great to see that you guys are picking up on that. But I think that I want to re-engage this book and remind you guys about it as we get into the conversation with Steve Harney, because I think it, I think it makes a difference, and I think it will help you understand how to take this to another level. So I'm going to do this pretty quick, two minutes, but when you think of the different types of salespeople and you think of the different types of your top 10% performers, so think of the company you work at and who are the top 10% performers, they fit into these five buckets, the hard worker, the problem solver, the relationship builder, the lone wolf, but the challenger is the best and the challenger gets there the fastest. And what makes the challenger so unique is that they're not just trying to build relationships, they're trying to get realtors and home buyers to go, wow, I never thought of it that way before. And, and at the end of the day, that is a different game that the Jeremy Forciers are playing, that, the, that, the, that, the, um, that um, Dan Keller is playing, that top producers are playing. Is This is the game they're playing. They're trying to get realtors and say, wow, I never thought of it that way before. I never thought of the first time home buyer and the financial benefit. I never thought of the move up analysis. I never thought of the why buy now which Steve's going to get into. And, and when you really look at what makes us successful, again, this is a study from 5,000 of the best salespeople in America. It's, it's all about the purchase experience. And, and, and what is the most valuable way of an awesome purchase experience? It's valuable insights on the current market. So, so when you really look at what does it require for you to be successful in today's market where every loan officer is calling on every realtor and they're getting barraged with cold calls, with copy meetings, with 20-minute conversations that are just, they all sound the same. I can help you. I close loans on time. I'm available 24-7. You've got to do something unique. You've got to do something different. And I think this call will give you some ammunition to do a better job when it comes to, and again, this is a review for most of you on this call. You've got to tailor your advice in a personal way. You've got to teach something to get people to say, wow, and then you need to control the sales process. So, so this is the goal of today. We want to make sure at the end of this call, the conversation Steve and I have had, you will have ammunition, you will have insights, and you will have new ways of getting realtors to say, wow, I never thought of it that way, and to get home buyers to do the same thing. So before I bring Steve into the conversation, I do want to push a quick survey question. And I want to know, and guys, be honest, you know, how effective are you today in delivering valuable insights to realtors? If everybody could do a quick survey, I want to just get a pulse check on where you guys feel that you're at. Are you good at this? Are you average at this? Are you great? Do you just not know? You know, where are you at in being effective at, dealing, at delivering valuable insights to realtors? So guys, you know how I roll on this, where 54 of you have voted. Uh, I, I need 70% for it to be valid for me. So, you know, 20% of you that haven't voted, let's get it up there so we can move into the content. Steve, any guesses on how people are going to respond to this question? Uh, it's going to be very interesting to me because it's it's what their perception of how good they are, and I think there are going to be some people on the call that think they're absolutely sensational, and maybe they're not, and there might even be some people on this call that are absolutely sensational, and they don't realize they are. So I think it's going to be very yeah. interesting to see the results. I, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I could see it. I'm going to push it live in a minute, guys. We're at 56 percent. Come on, give me a push above 70 percent. Let's get all you. You, let's wake up in the morning, let's pay attention, let's make a good quality hour, and Steve and I are going to deliver some great insight and some, some good learnings. So here are the results. By the way, I, I'm shocked that only 2% said great, so I expected uh, a higher percent there. 31% uh, said good, 39% said average, 24 week, and 3% just don't know. So I don't know, Steve, I felt like they were pretty candid there. What are your thoughts? I, I did. That looked very, very candid to me, like almost spooky candid. I didn't realize that your people trust you that much, that they're going to give you the God's honest truth right on the, the, the thing. I think that most people would have fudged a little bit, but it looks like that's really uh, – it, it's exciting in a couple of different ways. You know, you can't improve unless you know you need improvement. That's, that's really cool that some people are looking to even get better to raise the bar on what they're doing. That's very exciting to me, and I do think that the time we spend together today will help some of those people – realize what, you know, what that, maybe that bar, where that bar should be at. Uh, at least we'll give them some guidance as far as that's concerned. 
Yeah. So, by the way, Steve, real quick, um, what do you think, how do you know if you're effective? I mean, obviously, if they say, yes, I'm going to do business with you, and they give you referrals within two weeks, that would be an indicator. What do you think would be some other indicators that you were effective at sharing valuable insight? Any, any thoughts on that? Uh, that? I think that what is taking place, especially with the top agents, and we have to realize that the last statistics that came out, which are now about 18, 19 months old, but the last statistics that came out show that less than 10% of the agents sell 90% of the houses. So really there's a, a core group of agents that you know the top mortgage professionals should be going after because they can give them the, the most information and uh, or the, 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 the best leads or the best opportunity to help a buyer actually fulfill the transaction. The, um, well, with those top agents, you know, we've often heard of teams. Uh, you know, that more and more the top agents are forming teams and understanding that. What you could, when you know you're effective with the top group is when they see you as a partner in the process. They don't see you as an outside person, but they're actually having you involved in their maybe their team meeting or taking their buyer agent and making sure that you're counseling them as far as uh, some of the things we're even going to cover today. If they have a first-time home buyer agent, um, you know, w are they allowing you to spend some time with that uh, agent to help them get those buyers to understand the importance of buying now versus buying a year from now? So if they, if you're starting to see, you know what? I'm not just this outside vendor type of relationship with this group. I'm part of the group, all right? That's a real good indicator that you're going to get a lot of leads going forward. Beautiful. Well, good insight. Uh, do you want to remind everybody as we get into this conversation, would love it if any takeaways that you get from this, key insights, big ideas, put them in Twitter and tag a mortgage coach. We want to know what you're pulling from this, and I also want to know are you using Twitter? Do you guys have Twitter? Do you use it? I am curious. I want to know. So, so Steve Harney, it's time to bring you into the conversation in a more formal way and really uh, let you share some insights. I have tracked you for more years than I know. I mean, it, it seems like I, I know it's I know it's been since 2006, but I don't know exactly when we started talking. But it's been a long time, and I, I don't even know how many of our members uh, use your services and are members of yours, but I know it's, 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 it's hundreds, if not thousands. Uh, you've got a very big footprint in the mortgage coach community because I see you know, our loan officers bringing up your insights when I have them on my call. They'll say, Steve Hardy said this. They'll still show me a picture of the slides, so it happens all the time. And uh, I know Jeremy Forcier is, is just, you know, I mean, not only is he a great example of a, a mega producer, but there's no bigger fan of yours than his. When I uh, posted you on Facebook, you know, he gave a great shout out. Content is king, and Harney is the king of content. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very, I don't know if you know. Cool. Jeremy's a great guy. Jeremy's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. So, for those of you who don't know, you're going to get to know um, the offering better. Steve, as for the folks that don't know you on this call, if you could just tell them a little bit. I, I know from my perspective, you're a guy that's studying the market, and then you're coming up with unique and useful ways. Of, of driving urgency with for realtors, providing insights for home buyers. But if you can just tell everybody from your perspective, if they don't know you, you know, what do you do and what is you know keeping current status? All right, basically, uh, just so everybody on the call has a little bit of history with me, I was an agent for eight years. The last seven of those eight years, I was the top agent in my community, actually in my county. Uh, then I went on to manage a real estate office for a, a national brand. That office became, of the thousands of offices that brand had across the country, uh, that office became number two office in the country. I never could beat Beverly Hills, no matter how hard I tried. Uh, but I had a great team of agents there, and I was, did a lot of teaching. That's what made our office really special. From there, I opened my own real estate company, which we grew to 13 offices and over 550 agents. I sold that a couple of years ago and thought I was going to retire. It was that then that I realized that you know I wasn't in real estate all those years. Real estate was in me all those years. So I was sitting home watching Judge Judy or Oprah. I was bored as, you know, all heck. So I decided that, you know what, let me get back into the market. And that was when the market was changing, you know, turning toward some really crazy times in 2007, 2008. So I started going out helping friends. From helping friends, I helped more friends. Became a big speaker in the real estate side of the industry. 
and more and more agents liked the fact that I was keeping them up to date right then and there what was taking place. So we actually started a, a service for agents that um, we have over 6,000 agents now that use our services where we do the research for them. We give it to them in very simple formats, which we're going to show you in a few seconds, some examples of that. And we do the research, and we keep that research current. We get it in their hands so they can use it with their buyers and sellers on a daily basis. Uh, just for an example, this morning, before this phone call, um, my research team dropped three major papers off to me that I have to read in the next 24 hours. Uh, three major reports that came out saying, hey, listen, uh, here's what happened with all the craziness. Uh, in 2008, 2009, this is how it affected consumers, and it didn't have anywhere near the negative effect everyone thought it had. So that's a great paper. There's another paper that was just put out by the Joint, uh, Joint Center for Housing Studies at Harvard, the, the benefits of home ownership, and there's a paper on pricing and what's taking place in pricing over the, this winter as we're going into the winter. So that's just this morning those papers got dropped on my desk. I will take all of those papers, take that research, put it into very simple formats that the agents can and the uh, mortgage professionals can share with their clients and for the sake of the mortgage. Well, sounds like a va very valuable service to have someone with your lifetime experience and a research team combing the markets, understanding what's happening in the market, and then putting that together in a very valuable and insightful way. And if you want to, as a mortgage professional, if you want to be a leader to realtors, you know, not only do you need to understand that, but you need to create your own insight around it. You need to deliver that as a teaching. And remember, he's only got 6,000 realtors as clients, so that means there's a whole lot of realtors that aren't. And, and then there's a whole lot of those 6,000 that really, they get it, but do they really know how to bring that to a home buyer, and do they really know how to do that in a valuable way? So my belief is, and the reason I'm passionate about this call, and I'm passionate about our partnership, Steve, is the loan officer that can deliver that insight the most consistently in every market condition is the loan officer that never needs to worry about their success. And, and that's something we do at Mortgage Coach. You do it in a different way. So, so I'm going to pass you the baton. I know you've got some slides and some insights to share. So I have uh, passed the control to you. Go ahead and take it whenever you you're see ready. screen now? Uh, I will tell you when I see it. And uh, share some insights. And yeah, learn how to be a leader to realtors. I like the sound of that. Let's roll. Okay, fair enough. What I wanted to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is just to make sure that we get a basic feel for what the realtor's going through, the real estate professional's going through, and how you can best help them. All right? Basically, what's taking place in the world, not just the, the housing world, the housing industry, but across the whole world, is you know people are weary of misinformation. People are making integrity a new form of competitive advantage. More important than ever, the building brand equity and differentiation, differentiating yourself from other loan professionals in your marketplace. Trust has become a precious commodity. So what we need to do is build that trust or rebuild that trust. What took place in the overall economy in the 2007-2008 time really caused people to start questioning everything. And we have to, in the housing industry, rebuild that trust in a special way. What we try to do with, with, with everything we uh, offer to realtors is we try to get them to have the heart of a teacher, as Dave Ramsey explained it. When getting help with money, whether it is insurance, real estate, or investments, you should always look for a person with the heart of a teacher, not the heart of a salesman. So again, how do we build trust? Well, instead of telling them what to do, because when people are afraid, the last thing you want to do is tell them what to do, we want to educate them. We want them to fully understand the decisions they're making and better help them. And that's one of the things that I you know, jumped in with Dave almost immediately when we uh, met a sales mastery to say, let's push this thing forward. Because what he's offering, especially with the Edge uh, product, is something that really helps people understand the decisions they're making. And it's, that's the key for us right now to garner as much support as we can amongst the buyers and sellers in the marketplace and also the realtors in the marketplace, because they're a little nervous too. So for today's call, I wanted to really concentrate on one type of buyer as an example of what you should be doing and what I believe we should be doing. All right? Let's just take a look at first-time home buyers. Now, the reason I like talking to realtors about first-time home buyers, this is the latest study, the 2014 
Emerging Trends re, uh, in Real Estate Report from Urban Land Institute. And they're talking about household formations. How many of these young kids are going to move out of their parents' house into the marketplace? Well, right now there's 1.21 million homes in the um, households in the United States. There's projected to be a 3.7% increase in that. So what we're looking at is an additional couple of million homes coming into the marketplace going forward. That's big for us, ladies and gentlemen. That means that people are going to be moving out of their homes into their parents' homes, uh, out of their parents' house into their own homes. Now, here's where we step in, ladies and gentlemen. They're worrying about prices, so they have to make a decision. Are prices going to continue to go up or prices going to fall? They know what happened in 2007 and 2008. So all these new homes that are, are projected to um, come to market, all these new households projected to come to market over the next three years, some of them are going to make a decision to rent and some of them are going to make a decision to buy. And the way they make that decision or which decision they make can be in our hands. Because understand that whether they rent or buy, they're going to pay a mortgage. They're either going to pay their mortgage or they're going to pay their landlord's mortgage. And that's a big, big uh, situation with us right now. We have to help them understand that them jumping into the rental market will affect them long term. So one of the things they're worried about is where are prices going going forward? Well, let's go back to what uh, Dave Ramsey said. And let's use a different quote, this one from Seth Godin probably the greatest marketer of our time, maybe the greatest marketer of all time. People don't believe what you tell them, but they always believe what they tell themselves. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. People don't believe what you tell them. They always believe what they tell themselves. So again, going back to Dave Ramsey, what we need to do is educate the people, not tell them what they need to do. Show them what's taking place in the market, what the advantages are of owning over renting so they can make intelligent decisions because if we're telling them and they're you know a little untrust untrusting right now they might think that you know like realtors run around you know you better buy now or you're gonna die your interest rates are going up price is going up you're gonna die if you don't buy within the next 12 minutes they don't want that what they want is to know that they're making the right decisions for themselves and their families and the only way we can do that is by educating them so where are prices going well, some people think they're going to go up. Some people think they're going to go down. What I like to use is the Home Price Expectation Survey. It comes out every single quarter, and it's a nationwide panel of over 100 economists, real estate experts, and investment and market strategists. Strategists. So a guy like Lawrence Young, the chief uh, economist at NAR, he's one of those over 100 people. Some of them are the professors at Harvard University, the Joint Center of um, housing studies. Some of them are the CEOs of some of the major banks. Um, some of them could be the chief economists, like at Moody's. All right. So they take those hundred opinions of where prices are going to be going, and they mesh them into one number. The theory behind what they do, that survey, is if I put a jar of jelly beans in front of a room of 100 people and ask those 100 people to guess how many beans are in the jar, some would guess way high, some would guess way low. But if I averaged all 100 answers together, guess what I would come up with? A number real close to the number of beans in that jar. They do the same thing with experts. And what I like to do is instead of saying, well, this person said this about pricing, or this person said that about pricing, well, if we average all of the thinking together, and they project it out over five years, this is where they think the prices are going to be going over the next five years. Now, for a little historical perspective, the normal average appreciation in this country is about 3.5% prior to the bubble. So if we go 20 years prior to the bubble, it's about 3.5% prices go up in value in this country. So what are we looking at going over the next five years? Well, the experts think the pendulum swung a little bit too far to the negative, so we have to correct that anomaly. And through 2014, we're going to be a little bit above average, 4.3%. Then over the next four years, we're going to be in a more normalized market. Now, when you're talking to a first-time buyer, and remember, we're kind of restricting this particular call to just one segment to really go deep on it, they're not really worried about whether it's 4.3 or 3.6. 
they just want to make sure the bars are green. Because remember, they lived through a period where they saw their parents see those bars being red, negative numbers. So this gives them a lot of impact, or it impacts them in a very positive way that this is what the experts are saying. Not one expert, not one real aggressive person, but all 100 experts together. And I also like to share with them this slide from that same report. If we looked from now until 2018, what well, we see that the pre-bubble trend, if we took what the trend was prior to the bubble and the bust, we'd be up in 2018 by about 23.7%. What the survey showed is the bulls, the one quarter of those hundreds plus people uh, that were most aggressive, most optimistic about the market, think by 2018 price is going to be up 40.1%. If we averaged all of the uh, projections together, bulls and bears is 28%. But even the bears, the one quarter of that, a little over 100 experts that are most pessimistic, most negative about the housing market, even that segment still thinks between now and 2018, the prices will be up almost 17%. When we're sitting with a first-time home buyer, what we can let them know is, you know what? You buying a house right now makes sense. You waiting just means that you're going to pay more for that house as far as price is concerned. The next thing I, I talk to our realtors about, our real estate uh, professionals about, is that it's not just the price that a buyer, especially a first-time home buyer, has to think about. It's the cost. And as everyone on this call knows, the cost is the price and the interest rate they're going to pay, unless they're buying all cash. So one of the things, the word that I'm trying to get every realtor in the world to understand, and I know everyone on this call already understands this word, is tapering. What will take place when the federal government actually starts pulling back on the stimulus they've been supplying to the housing industry? Now, we like to use very graphic pictures and visuals because we share this with our real, real estate partners. We share this with the people that get involved in our services. So when they're sitting either at a pre formal presentation with a buyer coming in thinking about buying a house or whether they're just talking to someone at a Christmas party, they can pull out on their smartphone these type of visuals that really are eye-catching and explain the situation. But let's get back to tapering. We know that it's, it's going to take place. Many people thought it was going to take place in September. But I personally think that Bernanke went wink, wink, nod, nod, and told the world, or at least the, the United States, that if you're thinking about buying a house, I'm going to give you an extra 90 to 120 days. And I really mean that. I think that that's exactly what's taking place. So we take a look at what Bill McBride from Calculated Risk, an economist that's oft times quoted in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Washington Post. Although the consensus is the Fed will wait until 2014 to start taper asset purchases, December is still possible. Now, we're not trying to use that as a scare tactic, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that works. And I know, David, that you don't believe in scare tactics either. You believe in pure good education, not trying to get them to do it because they're afraid, but get them to do it because they understand now's the time to do it. So we try Absolutely. to get very – you agree with me on that, David, right? Absolutely. So we try to give them very, very strong visuals. Here's Freddie Mac's 2013, 30-year fixed rate mortgage rates. And we spent a little time talking about this. You know, they were about 3.5% for pretty much the first third of the year. But as soon as the Fed even started talking about the possibility of tapering, what happened over the summer? Interest rates shot up a full percent. Now, when they didn't do any tapering in September, they still have to slow up again, all right, or, you know, drop just a little bit. You know, I love that quote that when rates go up, they go up like a skyrocket. When they come down, they fall down like a feather. You know, it's not the same thing. But what I will use this graph for when agents are talking to people is to let them know. If you were looking for the lowest possible interest rate, you waited too long already. But understand that if you don't act now, you're going to have a challenge going forward because interest rates are projected to continue to go up. But again, I don't put the agent in that position to say that. 
I don't want it to seem like a scare tactic. I want it to be educational. I don't want the mortgage professional to say, hey, listen, rates are going to go up. Just trust me. What I like to do is give some credibility to it. So here's another type of visual we like to share. We have a situation here, projected mortgage rate. This is the latest, as of yesterday, what Fannie Mae, the National Association of Realtors, Freddie Mac, and the Mortgage Bank Association all believe will be interest rates this time next year. All right? So what we're talking about is about a 1% increase, three quarters to 1% increase over where they stand right now. We want to educate them. This is not what we're saying. This is not what I'm trying to scare you into making a decision on. We're trying to educate the people that are supposed to know. The experts that are supposed to know about pricing are saying what? Prices are going to go up. The experts who, who are supposed to know what's going to take place with mortgage rates are all projecting what? That mortgage rates are going to go up. That's going to impact the cost of what you're doing. And that's what we try to get across to all of our realtor partners. That's important to us, that they have simple things to explain. Not that they believe this is going to happen, but they have knowledge that the experts believe it's going to happen. And I do believe very strongly, and I try to teach both the mortgage professionals that deal with us and the real estate professionals that deal with us, that you have to, make, you have to connect all the dots for people. That's one of the things I love about Edge. It definitely connects all the dots for them. They see it in real live numbers. We're doing a video based on some of the last couple of slides I just showed you with pricing. My partner, Matt Dollinger, bright, young, really brilliant thought leader in the industry, is putting together a beautiful, with David, putting together a beautiful uh, video with, in the Edge platform to take this information and really share it in a way that you're comfortable seeing it. What we do, we do things like this. Make it simple. Let's assume interest rates do go up as people say they're going to go up, like the National Association of Realtors and the Mortgage Bank Association said. And let's assume prices don't even go up. Well, look at the difference that they'd have to pay in principal interest on the 250 mortgage this year versus next year. That's $161.08. Multiply that over the 12 months. And what you see is that's almost $2,000 a year. Multiply that over a 30-year mortgage. We're talking about $60,000 of family net worth that will be sacrificed by somebody waiting a year to buy. Bring it to what they really understand. We have to connect all those dots. And again, that's one of the reasons I'm really excited about you know, sharing some things with Edge. And, and between the two platforms, we could really bang things out of the box on this in a very big way. And everyone on the call right now, take what Dave is offering you. Take what you learned today and share it with your real estate agents right now, this afternoon, tomorrow morning at a meeting. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what sometimes the realtor doesn't realize is this is prime time for them. Some realtors who had a pretty good year this year, Compared to 2011, 2012 was really good. Compared to 2012, 2013 was fantastic. They know they're going to go into a tremendous year in 2014. There's no doubt in their minds about that. So they might even be saying, well, I'm going to take a little easier around the holidays. No, ladies and gentlemen. Help them understand that the holiday parties right now, real estate is what everyone's going to be talking about. They're going to be talking about, my God, prices went up 13% over last year. You know what? It might be time for me to be, move into a bigger house. You know what? I have more equity in my house now. I went from a negative equity situation to finally a positive equity situation. It's time for me to sell. That's going to be a dominant part of conversations at every single holiday party, every single family gathering, every single industry gathering. They're going to be talking, and the real estate professionals, the mortgage professionals that know very simply what to say and how to say it are going to be the gurus at those parties, and that's going to set them up for 2014. The materials I just showed you now, I gave you an example for first-time home buyers. We have them for move-up buyers. We have them for different categories of buyers. 
whether it be Latinos, whether it be the baby boomers, whether it be the millennials. We give those materials and we give it to our agents in such a way that they can download it on their iPads and their smartphones. So when they're at these parties, they're not just saying, this is what I think. They're pulling out their smartphone, either off their hip or out of their pocketbook, and showing the same exact proof positive from experts that I just showed you in the last couple of slides. They're showing that at the parties. Again, what they're looking to do in the month of December to really set up 2014, all their family members, all their friends, all their business partners have to see them as the real estate expert as they come out of these parties. Hey, Steve, can I jump in real quick here? Sure. So, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but the, the insights that I'm gaining are tremendous. The value is amazing. Uh, now it's what are you going to do with it. So I, I hope everybody is getting some good takeaways. And I, I really like what you said a minute ago. It's you got to know what to say and you got to know how to say it. So that takes practice. That takes scripting. It doesn't just, oh, I, w I watched this webinar and I'm done. No, you're probably going to need to rewatch the recording of this. So we have recorded this. It will be on our YouTube channel like it is every single week. But I also want to add to that, it's not just what you say and how you say it. It's what you show them. So Steve's done an amazing job of putting these together in slides and PowerPoints. So that's one way to show it. And everybody on this call, you guys have a, a really powerful magic tool that's in your back pocket at every party. You've got the Mortgage Coach app. So, you know, Steve, in one of his slides, showed you the uh, why by now, and that's a great slide that if you're in an office meeting and you're delivering a, a teaching and a training um, and you're a partner to realtors, that's a great way to share it. But when you're breaking that down for an individual home buyer, you know, you can put that in an edge report with your video. And, and again, we're going to, I don't want to steal thunder from some of the gifts we're going to give you at the end of this call. Steve's going to provide a couple of slides to everybody on this call, plus um, him and his partner, Matt, who I'm going to talk about towards the end of the call, actually created an edge video. So you can see how would Steve and, the, and Steve's team create an edge video to share that experience. You guys are going to have that. So I just want to, while you're in this moment, talking about all the, the conversations you're going to have, all the people you're going to touch, make sure you've got the app. Make sure that you know how to have a conversation around that. And again, it just takes practice. So I, I thought this was a great opportunity to really tie that in. And I, I really hope everybody uh, is going to continue to take great notes, but more importantly, put those into action, practice, so that you're ready to, to really deliver insight, get people to think about things differently throughout the holidays. So um, continue, Steve. All right. Well, that's pretty much where we're finished. The one thing I do want to offer everybody here you know, we took one little sample uh, in the time we had today to really talk about how you can help your realtor partners work it. Uh, if you want more information on how you could do that on a, on a monthly basis, a continual basis, and we will be working with Edge on a continual basis also, uh, uh, David, myself, and Matt, my partner, we will continue to work to get you great information in the Edge platform. But if you're looking for things to help their agents put together great presentation manuals, if you want to understand which agents to go after, there are five categories of agents, and really there's only three of those five that you should even be interested in. And you're going to find out that, in, in, if you go to this webinar, that you might be spending too much time with the two categories you shouldn't even say hello to, never spend time with. We do have that, and uh, that free webinar will be on Thursday, December 19th, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And if you're interested, all you need to do is go ahead and copy down exactly the uh, the link right there, the bit.ly link right there, and it is case sensitive, so please copy it down just the way it is. And you could go ahead and log in for the webinar right now or at the end of this call, and we'll spend a little extra time with you showing you which of the agents you should be working with, how you can make connections with that, what we call Sarah Superstar, the top agent, and how you can build relationships every single month having great material to go back to them with, which is exactly what Mortgage Coach does with Edge. We can help you continue to build that package of value that you're offering your real estate agents. So if you're interested in getting more information on what we do, we call uh, the Keeping Current Matters for the uh, Mortgage Brokers Bridge Builders, building a bridge between the mortgage professionals in the community and the real estate professionals in the community. And if you want a little bit more information on that, that webinar is free. 
is on the 19th, and we'd be more than happy to have you there. Well, All right, fantastic. Dave, take it over. Well, I mean, we're going to continue to have a conversation. We've got a few more things to share. Uh, I am going to encourage you, the link to that, Bitly link, because some folks may not have been able to grab it, is to put it in the comment section of the promotion of today's coaching call. So um, if you or Matt could put that in there and everybody uh, that wants to participate, which I absolutely urge you to do, you know, there'll be a link that you can just click on and go to that. So I took a couple slides, you know, while we were going through this. I was, um, you know, paying attention to Twitter because I wanted to see how many of our members were on it. This takeaway came up that people had, and I know just personally I thought this was really solid. It, it aligned with the survey that we had. It aligns with, at the end of the day, talking is one thing, showing is another thing, and at the end of the day when that client changes the way they think, you know, they say, wow, I never thought of it that way, and you change their belief, real power happens. So I, I hope everybody really got a big takeaway there. Uh, I loved this slide, uh, you know, Dave Ramsey, uh, through Churchill Mortgage is a great client of Mortgage Coach. So we're actually going to have one of their leaders not on next week's coaching call, but the following week's coaching call, one of the, 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 the leaders of their organization and a top originator who um, handles all the Dave Ramsey leads. They're going to talk about how they deliver Mortgage Coach experiences, how they deliver mortgage advice. Uh, and I, I just can't, um, I can't make the point enough how important it is to not just be a teacher, but to have that heart of a teacher. So I thought this was a, a big slide, powerful message. And as Mortgage Coach members, you have the gift that these folks are in our community. You know, they're on our coaching call. They're using EDGE. So I hope you guys do. Uh, I do want to, again, remind you guys this is, this is important. At least make an informed decision. Attend this webinar and understand how Steve Harney and Mortgage Coach can continue to deliver value to you. Uh, so Steve, I'm going to bring Matt in um, while he's not on the call. He did create an edge video for everybody, bringing to life one of your strategies. If you could just really quickly tell everybody who Matt is so that it's like, okay, who's this that guy? Why, why does he matter? Um, if you can give just a, a quick framing of who Matt is and why he's so important to our relationship and what we're doing at Mortgage Coast. Matt is famous for having the most perfect hair of any male real estate thought leader in the world. He has perhaps <laughs> a very perfect, perfect hair. Everyone's jealous of his hair. Now, Matt is a tremendous thought leader. Matt spent, uh, I met Matt several years ago at a big real estate conference. We sat down just to talk real estate, me being the old guy, the, you know, the, the old school guy, and Matt being that young, up-and-coming uh, thought leader that everyone had respected at a very early age. And we sat down for a few minutes, we thought it was going to be a few minutes, seven hours later, my wife sent somebody looking for me because I already missed a dinner engagement. And that seven hours seemed like seven minutes for me. That's when I first met Matt, probably one of the, the smartest young real estate professionals in, in the industry. He went on to coach at one of the largest real estate companies uh, in the Chicago area. Uh, he was their personal coach. He knows exactly what realtors need. He knows exactly what they're looking for from mortgage professionals. Uh, he's done surveys on that. He understands the connection, how to build that bridge between the mortgage person and the real estate agent. He's worked with some of the big portal companies as the vice president of broker services. So he understands the industry both from feet on the ground. He understands the industry from you know outside vendor, uh, vice president of mortgage services, one of the large, large companies. And now he has his own uh, consulting firm, Gearbox, and Gearbox and I work together. I mean, my company work together. Matt and I work together as partners to help the mortgage industry really understand what the realtor really is looking for right now. Beautiful. So it's, it's great to have both of you as part of the Mortgage Coach community. What they did is they took a couple slides, and we're going to have links to these slides for all Mortgage Coach members. We're just going to post a link in the comment section on our Facebook page. But taking this cost of waiting strategy, taking some of the projections of appreciation rates, and taking that insight and putting it into a mortgage coach edge experience. So for all of you that have the app downloaded, which I hope is an absolute 100% of you by now, hey, um, Jacob, if you don't mind, let's do an ad hoc survey of, and I may have time to get to it, I may not, 
but I would like to know what percentage of you have downloaded the Mortgage Coach app and have driven a, a mobile experience, I mean video on mobile. I would like to throw that up, Jacob, if you have time to, to get it in there. But, but you right now put in Harney into the app, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or an Android, and you can drive this experience. And you can see how you can take some of Steve Harney's great insights and put them in a more tailored way. I mean, when you really look at the Challenger model, and that's something that Matt and I connected on. We met uh, when I ran into you at Sales Mastery, and we immediately connected because we both have a lot of passion for the, the book and the teachings here. But to take some of these concepts and to tailor them to the individual needs of a borrower, so, so while when you're having a conversation with a borrower, it's great that these are, you know, these industry projections, but what is that borrower's projections? What if you could take their projections, take their actual loan amount, take today's actual interest rate, and put that into a, a custom tailored teaching for a customer? Guys, everybody on this phone, you can do this, and it would be really powerful for you. It would help you connect with realtors, help create urgency for their home buyers, and it helps everybody. So a uh, couple things. I, I do want to remind everybody I would love to know your biggest takeaway. I would love to know your favorite slide that Steve shared today. I think Steve would love to know that also. So if you are on Twitter land, let us know. And by the way, we still love Facebook. So you know, let us know on Facebook. We'd love to know what you're doing. Uh, Steve Harney, as I go into a wrap-up mode, is there any other thoughts that you want to make sure we get out at this stage of the conversation? Well, I do see that there was one comment on the, the call about uh, the the statement I made about 10% of the agents do 90% of the business, that's like the old 80-20 rule, 20% 20 of the people do 80% of the work. But in real estate, it's actually gotten much more intense than that. And those numbers are correct. The actual numbers are, the last numbers that we've had, uh, are 7% of the agents do 93% of the business. So um, understand that not only the, with, with, with what you're doing, you're, you want to be a great educator. But you want to educate the right agents, the agents that can make a difference, the agents who can help you build your business. All right, so you have to identify those people. And what Dave gives you to those top agents, whether they be that Sarah Superstar that we talk about with the team already, or that Ricky Rising Star, the next superstar on the horizon that you can make it a, a great impression with. When you have the edge materials, when you have some of the materials we, you know, we offer, that makes what exactly what Dave talked about a point of differentiation. And in every marketing class, day one, this is what every marketing class says, 10% different is 100% better. You Beautiful. make the difference well, now. Well, we're going to have time for Q&A. So if you want to uh, raise your hand, I'm not going to have time to read the questions you've submitted. So if you want to get your question answered, raise your hand. We are going to have some time. I do want to push this poll real quick. And I do want to know what percentage of you have downloaded the Edge app. So again, guys, you know, 70% of you vote. Just just cast your vote so we can move on with the content. Right now, we're at about 50% of you. And and by the way, it looks like 68% right now have downloaded the app. So 70%, not 100%. We'll get you there. It's a free app. I mean, I don't even mind if you multitask. It won't insult me. Get your mobile device out, whether you're Android, whether you're iOS, Apple. Download the free Mortgage Coach app right now. Just put Mortgage Coach in the search. So um, I do want to drive a Mortgage Coach homework assignment for everybody to create an actual Edge Insight video. And what I mean when I say Insight video, not necessarily tailored to a specific customer, but like the one that Matt created. So make your Insight video and please share it with me. Share it with me on Twitter. Share it with me on Facebook. I want you guys today to take one of these Steve Harney insights and then wrap that into an edge report and share that video with me and other people in the community. That's the homework assignment today. Uh, if you don't know how to create those, every Thursday, 9 o'clock Pacific, we help you how, how to create a video. I'm gonna, I put in the search topic, um, realtor videos. So if you don't know how to create a realtor open house edge video on mobile with Mortgage Coach, Come to, to come to that training, 9 o'clock Pacific today. And please, get to know Steve Harney better. Connect with him. He gave you a website to do that. We're going to put it on the Facebook page. 
And with that said, I am not going to wrap this up because we still have a few minutes and we have a lot of hands raised. I am going to take some Q&A, but I, I do want to say, Steve, I'm grateful for you. I am also grateful for all the work Matt's done to get us this partnership to where we're at. And I look forward to a lot more fun to come. Same here, David. I, I, you know, we talked a lot on this this um, uh, call about you know helping the mortgage people, helping the realtor, helping the mortgage people, help the realtor. Uh, we have to understand really what the bottom line is. We're helping people make families, our neighbors, in our neighborhoods make good decisions for themselves going forward, and that's really what all this education is about. You know, not only reestablishing home ownership is the American dream but helping people achieve that dream. And uh, that's what I like and love about David. He makes it understandable. Because again, we have to w build, as we said right from the beginning, that we have to rebuild that trust in the client base. No, no, no doubt. And, and while insight is valuable to win the business, to your point at Mortgage Coach, while we, we take a lot of pride in the thousands of Mortgage Coach members that we have, at the end of the day, we judge our success by how many times we help a home buyer, we help a family make a more informed decision. And we just plain believe that quoting a rate, an interest rate, a monthly payment is just not enough. Everybody deserves to know what's the total cost over five years or three years, and everybody deserves to know a prepayment strategy to reduce their, their, their mortgage faster. I mean, that is what everybody wants is debt free home. So uh, we share a cause that at the end of the day, how can we help home buyers make better decisions and achieve the American dream? So with that said, I am going to unmute someone. I'm going to pick some random folks here. Forrest, uh, you've been unmuted. Did you have a question or a comment? Forrest Campbell. All right. Hey, here's what I'm going to do. I just lowered everybody's hands because I want to make sure everybody that raises their hand as we come into the closing thoughts of today's call, you guys are ready. You're ready for me to unmute you. You're ready to make sure your mic works, and you're ready to, to chat. So I lowered everybody's hands, but feel free to re-raise your hand if you've got a, a question that you want to ask, you've got your mic working, and you are ready to participate in the call. So I will give it another minute to do that. Um, again, Steve, if you could just really quickly, I know that we have this webinar, but I want people to, to really engage with you. Uh, you know, just give us one more minute, you know, kind of a one minute on Bridge Builders. What exactly is that? What we do at Bridge Builders is we help the mortgage professionals in the marketplace who really want to build lifelong re relationships with their, their uh, real estate partners. We help them understand that, again, there is a certain groups of agents. We break it into five categories. Um, you know, we call it the Danny Doolittles, the people who are in the offices and never do any business. They spend a lot of time with you because they have nothing better to do, uh, and too many, too much time is wasted with them. Nancy, new agents. Every company recruits a whole bunch of new agents. Sixty percent of them drop out within the first eight months. So we really want you to concentrate on that risky rising star, that new agent that you could just tell there's something special about. The Tommy team, you know, that those heart and soul guys. They're not the top producers, but they do really good business. And the Sarah superstar, that is a superstar that is a team of agents. But you have to know how to approach each one of those three. You have to know, you know, watch the hot buttons on each one of those three. And we help you develop that through a series of videos and some on, you know, live training like you do here. Um, we give them all of the same information that we give to 6,000 agents across the country, paying subscribers. We give that to every single mortgage professional that joins in in Bridge Builders. And we give you a licensing agreement that you can share it with the, the marketplace. So all your top realtors in your marketplace get the same exact materials that the people that depend on us get on a monthly basis. And the important thing is it's updated on a monthly basis. I've seen that mortgage professionals know how to make that original contact pretty well. They know how to do that in, in a very nice way. They know how to you know, introduce themselves. They give a book that they did. They'll show them an edge. But that the continuing follow-up every single month to nurture that relationship Sometimes they, they struggle for materials. Well, we give 30 or 40 slides every single month, new to the information that came out that month, that they can share with their realtor partners. It gives them a reason. Just a real quick example, another few seconds. Two great examples. One of the bridge builders actually brings in 23 agents every single month. The top agents in her marketplace sits with them and shares with them the information we give. 
and she has a mastermind where they talk back and forth. This is really important. That's important. This is what's happening here. Let's take another look at that slide. And she becomes the education source because understand that in a real estate company, most of the real estate companies are run like most school districts. They teach to the middle student. The agent that needs a lot of help usually doesn't get a lot of help. That's a new agent. The top agent, who is like almost beyond where the broker is, doesn't get a lot of help either. You can fill that void with those top agents, bringing them great information. Another one of the bridge builders, actually in the top office in a, in a marketplace, 70-something agents, she goes in and they let her run an office meeting once a month on the information we share through bridge builders. So she has open access to that office by the owners of that company to give out the information on a monthly basis. They bring the agents together for this woman, um, this loan officer, to share the, her information with. So it, it's great information. We took a little bit of it today. And if, I don't know if you can get to that next slide where they can actually have the, uh, um, the bit.ly um, um, URL yeah, well, that, that they can sign up to. I, that, that, that will be on the Facebook page. And okay, you know, it's, okay. pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty deep into the deck at this point. Uh, or I would just easily go there. But everybody, sign up on that. You can go to the Mortgage Coach page. I did add another survey question just now because I, I really want to get this insight right now. How many of you have used the Edge Mobile live with a realtor right now? So again, quick survey as we wrap it up. Um, again, if you want to raise your hand and ask a question, and Steve, I had, uh, did you have one more thought? I didn't want to cut you off. Did you have something else? No, to no. Say that? I, 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 let's get to the questions if we have any. If not, I'll be more than happy to answer any question you might have, Dave. Well, there's been four fun questions, but I, I can't get to all those right now. I would tell anybody who's on this call, if you posted one of those questions, uh, put it on the Facebook page between myself, Steve, and Matt. We will do our best to answer it. And I'll also tell you our intention is to have Steve Harney on more of the mortgage coach coaching calls. So I'm not going to you know, say hey, every single month we'll have Steve. Uh, he's a busy man. He's got a, a very busy traveling schedule. But our goal is to have Steve on a lot more often. And so stay tuned for another Steve Harney call. Stay tuned for more of his insights. Please let us know what you like best. And here we go. We've got uh, Mr. Dan Keller. You have been unmuted. Did you have a question or a comment, Dan? Yeah, hey, can you guys hear me okay? We can hear you perfectly. All uh, right on. Hey, Steve, I had a chance to hear you at Sales Mastery, and uh, you knocked my socks off there. And, and certainly this, uh, this, <laughs> this webinar uh, did the same thing. So, I mean, the question I was going to ask, basically you just answered, and it's clear to me I, uh, I need to enroll in the, the bridge build bridge builder program but you know going you know and my my question to you is going after a Sally superstar I mean I think you just by I raised my hand earlier and I think it got you got put back down but my initial question was going to be how do you go after a Sally superstar with um, you know getting a Sally superstar to want to maybe connect with me but I think you just you just answered my question while my hand was up by having these uh, meetups, these mastermind groups. I just, I mean, you answered it, but I think since I got, you know, called on, I wanted to address it. I think that's absolutely brilliant, hosting a weekly or probably monthly mastermind event where a Sally superstar would want to attend because you're continuing to give this information. So, I mean, that was, you answered my question, but I just think that's absolutely brilliant. And I wanted to let you know that. And just understand that, it, just in case, because we, when you're dealing with the superstars, a lot of times you're dealing with teams. And it might be that she's so busy, she's crazy busy right now, it might not be her attending that meeting. But if you could work your way into her team by taking her buyer agent and having the buyer agent attend the meeting, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she sees her buyer agent much more confident, much uh, closing more deals, being able to explain things, then you'll draw that top agent in by first taking a piece of her team in. So I think you should invite the top agent, but don't get frustrated if not all of them attend. Some of them might send someone from their team to, to attend, and that's your way into that top agent's team. That's worked very wow. successfully for a lot of loan offices. Wow. I love that. Wait, thank, thank you so much for, uh, for taking the time to get back to this question. Hey, listen, no problem. And, and if you're a bridge builder, we do quarterly what we call agent assist strategy calls where we actually break it down like that. This is what you have to do next. This is what you have to do next. Matt does calls 
for us also where you could really get pick Matt's brain as to what is a realtor really looking for in their mortgage professional right now. And Matt does sleep with one of the top agents in Chicago who happens to be his wife. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, hey, we've got a couple more questions here. Uh, thank you for jumping in, Dan. Really appreciate that. Uh, Aaron Coker, another great mortgage coach leader, uh, leads a branch here in the Portland market, and not only uses mortgage coach with every client, but gets his team to do it. So, Aaron, you're unmuted. Did you have a question or a comment, my man? I do. Thank you very much, Dave, for taking the time. Steve, uh, as always, great information. Uh, I love the content you put out there. A quick question. What, what do you think is the one thing uh, that we could bring to those top agents to differentiate ourselves uh, in the marketplace? Because as Dan mentioned, they are very busy and it's hard to get uh, their ear. But that one thing that could really make a difference in their business. Well, it, it's all according to who they are. The one thing that we have to take a look at is a lot of times that both managers, company owners, and mortgage professionals, who's ever dealing with that top agent, might see that agent almost as arrogant. And there are very few arrogant top agents. They can't become top agents if they're arrogant people. Yet there are a couple. There are a couple that sneak through the, the process, just like there are a couple of arrogant mortgage professionals. But most of them are just very, very focused. And their focus and attention to detail sometimes come of course as arrogance. So if you're dealing with someone, what I would do again, which I just mentioned before, I would invite them in, show them some of the materials we have, uh, some of the materials you get from Edge. Let them see how this could help them. I'll give you one quick example. Every quarter we put out a book that's just for members. We put out a book, that the reasons you should buy you know, right now and the reasons you sell right now. We update that on a quarterly basis. If you just showed the most recent one of those two books to a top agent in your marketplace, is a PDF that they could send out or have one of their team members, or if they're a top agent by themselves, send it directly out to their, their base, they'll love you just for that book. That's like you, that first step into the process of saying, hey, listen, I have great information for you. That's what they're all lacking. Now, one of the big advantages that you have being a member of Mortgage Coach is going into 2014, everyone on this call realizes what's going to take place in the next year. Most, more, most real estate professionals don't understand it. There's going to be a lot of changes going on. And what I try to tell every single realtor group I'm in front of, I'm going to be in front of several hundred people in Fort Wayne, Indiana. All right? What I tell them is make sure you make friends with your mortgage professionals because over the next you know, year, you're going to need them. So I, I would let them know that. That might be an in. Hey, there's a lot of mortgage changes taking place right now. You should be aware of them. Of course, the top agents, the thing that, that the, the single most important thing to them is their reputation. They don't want to say something that tr proves not to be true, or they don't want to warn their buyer clients or their seller clients. Uh, they don't want to not warn them about a change that's about to happen. So if you're giving them great information, there is a thirst for that information right now. The broker is not supplying it, period. No. So, hey, Aaron, great leader, great friend. We need to do a coffee meetup soon. Thanks for participating. Hey, Marcelo, you've had your hand up for a while, and I wanted to make sure we got your question, even though we're a little over. Did you have a question or a comment, Marcelo? Um, I had a question. Two. Um, the, oh, the, the question was, you, you mentioned about making the, uh, the video. You said down, there's certain days and times that you have that you do the videos, that you make, that you show people how to make the videos. Oh, the, the, the mortgage, yeah. Every, every Thursday at 9 o'clock Pacific, we have a training just like this, and I'll make sure someone reaches out to you. Oh, uh, great. So you, you know how to attend that. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you very much. And great... Uh, right. Uh, my God, just a world of knowledge. I've been doing this forever, and I just wish I would have had somebody like uh, like you guys out there t ten years ago. I wouldn't. I, I would be retired today. <laughs> I've been doing this forever, thank so thank you very much. I appreciate the kind words. And Steve, uh, there are two more questions. Can we go for another couple minutes, or do you have a hard stop? No, I, I, you, you can go for another couple of minutes. The cars pick me up to take me to the airport in 26 minutes. So I, uh, I got go, another we, 10 here. Okay, we don't need to go that long. I just, I have a few people who've raised their hand. Sure, Jeff sure. Thornton, you've raised your hand. Did you have a quick question, Jeff? Yes, I uh, wanted to ask about the book. Is that um, on the, um, the bill, 
bridge builder, or is that in the Keeping Current Matters? The, the book is, it, it actually, we created it for the Keeping Current Matters people. So if you're a Keeping Current Matters member, you can get that on the bonus materials. The full editions in there now, they're just doing the final edits on the December edition, which will be out the Monday before Christmas. It's kind of our Christmas present to all our realtors. So if you're a KCM member, that's where you want to go. But if you are a KCM member, just you know, be a little careful. You, as a KCM member, you have the right to share any of that information with your buyers. You don't have the licensing agreement to share with all the realtors in the marketplace. So you know that if you wanted to do that, then you really should jump into the bridge builder situation and also get the coaching that Matt and I provide you on how to do that. But in answer to your question, it's both available to K our KCM members and also to the bridge builder members in the bonus section of the um, um, website. All right. So Jeff, I hope that helps. Uh, Peter, I have unmuted you. Uh, did you have a question or a comment? Peter. All right. Well, I am lowering everybody's hands. We got to everybody's questions. So again, reminders, we are going to have a link to a custom uh, edge experience that they, you guys created. I hope everybody is an action item. Make sure that you've looked at, you've watched that on a mobile app. Make sure that you know how to have that realtor conversation. Make sure that you sign up for Steve Harney's upcoming video, or excuse me, not video, but webinar, so you really make an informed decision around how he can continue to help you in your business. Uh, Steve, any last words of wisdom before we wrap up today's call? You know, the people that came on the call today gave us a, uh, uh, an hour of their life. That's a pretty big investment. I just hope that they all consider that they got a tremendous return on, the, on that investment. We worked very diligently here in the office, and I know you did, Dave, too. You held me to a standard. You held Matt to a standard. Uh, unlike most, you wanted to make sure we were at our best when we got on this call. We always try to deliver our best, but you raised the bar on that, even on this webinar. And I appreciate the fact that someone like you cares enough about their listeners that would actually do that. So I hope we gave them a return on the investment, because again, they gave us an hour of their life. Well, I'm looking forward to doing more hours of uh, leading and teaching like this with you, Steve. Thanks for your time, Matt. If you're listening in, appreciate you, and look forward to a growing partnership. And gentlemen, have a great day, everybody. Have a great week, and please take action on what we talked about today. You know, uh, that's the best gift, Steve, that I can get back is hearing your success stories and seeing you taking action in the, in the streets. Take care, everybody.